throughout the ages, yoga has been recognized as the great purifying fire of transformation, revealing the radiance of the inner self that dwells in every human being. Shanti Mandir Magod is a sanctuary where people from all over the world come to find peace and strength that does not diminish with the constant changes of modern life. You want to know the whole world, you know? People want to know all about science and about history and about everything, but once you don't know who you are, all this knowledge is basically useless. But when I came here and you have this four weeks of constant participation in meditation and the chanting and also the learning about the philosophy and the asana classes, it starts to work from the inside out. For me, it fulfills the need of just like seeing yoga as a lifestyle. And I feel like this is something you hardly ever get in Western countries, because usually yoga is becoming more of an asana practice. When you do yoga teacher training, it's usually on the weekends or like two days. So I feel like you never get like the full meaning of a life to live with yoga, not just being a physical part, but a life to live as yoga, being your state of mind. You just put your whole heart into everything here. Everyone puts their whole heart into what they do here and it's contagious. As soon as I walked through the gates, it was like coming home. For me, what I mostly remembered when I was back in Germany were the people, because you feel like you are in a family from the very first moment. And I felt for the first time in my life what peace means. Like, not just this, like, being a peaceful surrounding, but also for me, what, what's it like when my mind becomes still? And I really feel that here. The environment's beautiful, old mango orchard, lots of beautiful trees around and pathways around the trees. The buildings are beautiful buildings. There's the little temples all through, beautiful views over these trees here, sitting here on this balcony. The rooms you can have, they're quite spacious. They've got um, two people to one room or you can have others that are a bit cheaper with three or four people in a room. And the food, three really good meals a day. You're not hungry ever. And the food is just delicious. Spicy and non-spicy, and even the non-spicy is still spiced, but it doesn't have a lot of chili in it. Good water, there's a reverse osmosis for drinking water. I just felt very welcomed and that people were actually happy that we're there. Although we were so different, Sarana and Keval, they are just such great teachers and the ashram environment makes it just so easy for you to connect with yourself. I met uh, Keval and Sadna in Australia and I did uh, the first level yoga teacher training with them and uh, as soon as I finished the first level, I decided to do the second, just for come here and meet them again and uh, understand better about uh, yeah, the culture here in the ashram. And I'd, I'd had those kind of experiences with, say, Buddhist meditation, but yoga had only really been more of a physical practice for me, so I then to start really tapping into the other sides of it was enabled through their teachings and really in the meditations and the yoga nidras as well that just really opened me up quite in an energetic way that I hadn't experienced before from other teachers. A lot of consciousness also on your health, not just the mind being healthy, your body being healthy. A deeper feeling of, you know, of course we are not that body, but we have a body. It's not only the spiritual things that are um, being considered. It comes from the texts, it comes from the traditions, it comes from the lineage. So it's not been fixed up and changed a little bit here and there to, to suit any one personality, it's just as it is. And I think that purity uh, is what I like and what feels very comfortable and like this pure knowledge, I suppose. In the ashram, I think. Any place that talks about God, that's about God, about divinity, must be that a person walks in one way, you know, emotionally, physically, mentally, walks out 
totally transported. And then after some time, you're not the same person anymore. Because you're not the man, you're not the body, you're not the woman, you're not, you realize there's much, much, much more. So through all of that which we do here, satsang, puja, kirtan, the yoga course, or just simply a person comes and goes, goes, wow, this is Shanti Mandir. I feel Shanti, I feel peace. And I go, yes, that's it. We work on 100% satisfaction. <laughs> that, is, that is what we want. We want that a person goes totally connected to the divine within them um, and not even know that that's what's happened to them other than bring that smile on their face. It's never just about if we accept the guru that is in front of us. It's just like having that appreciation for everything, like to bow down before life. Last year, we just like decided to dance, you know? So we had a big gathering and dancing. So it's also celebration. It's celebrating life. I feel like he has a good way in teaching the kids, but there are also times, you know, when you let loose or you just like celebrate life. Yoga is chopping vegetables. Yoga is washing the dishes. Any act of mindfulness, if you're fully present while you're doing it, that, that is yoga as well. And you can take that everywhere with you. So I want to study the mind, but it's much deeper than the mind. It's the consciousness. And I want to learn more about that <laughs> a lot. You know, yoga is so deep. It's so deep in so many ways. And it, I feel like a lifetime is not enough to, uh, to learn.